Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Shapiro Feature Walkthroughs. As usual, I'm joined by Yosef, our Shapiro VP of Product. How are you today, Yosef? Hello. I'm great. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy to have you here. Um, so today, Yosef will walk us through uh, an amazing Shapiro feature, the Hero Board. Is that so? Absolutely. Every, everyone wants to be a hero. So this is, uh, <laughs> this is your chance to That's prove right. it. Okay. So tell us all about it. So the hero board is a way for you to get an overview of what's going on in the warehouse. So how many orders need to ship? How many orders have shipped today? Um, and in addition, the individual um, employees, so the pickers and packers in the warehouse, what their performance has been for the day. And we've seen a lot of customers put this up on a big screen, put it up in the warehouse, make it visible to everyone. Um, not only so they can see what the status is and how many, you know, how many orders they have to still ship, um, but it does create kind of a little bit of a of a competition. So, good healthy competition between the you know, the pickers or packers. Um, you know, who could who could take the uh, the number one slot on the hero board? Um, so That's what awesome. you see here is kind of the overview. Um, and I got to this just by going uh, to my shipping, and on the left side you have your hero board, and this shows you kind of the overview of the warehouse. Um, so a few things you can you note. Um, you can filter this by warehouse, so you can just choose different warehouse if you have multiple warehouses. If you're a 3PL, you can filter this by customer, status, and then there's a few more filters you can use as well to really dial in what you want to see. Below is a breakdown of each status um, in that warehouse. So you can see, for example, um, first status, how many orders are pending, how many are currently in a tote, how many are locked, which means they're being worked on at the moment. And that does it by status. Um, on top, you have the, the overview, the summary. Um, so how many orders are ready to ship? How many orders again are currently in the toilet or locked? And how many of them are due today? And that's based on the required ship date. Um, you also have this full screen mode. So full screen, as it implies, will just um, you know kind of take away all the, the menus and your the toolbars, things like that, and give you just that, that view of the hero board. So if you are putting it up in the warehouse on a on your big screen, you can just see that. Um, that in front of you nice and big. We also have here a report export. So you can click on that, picker and packer performance, and this will export uh, performance for your individual pickers or packers. You can choose which one you wanna see, or the date ranges, and the warehouse you wanna export it for. Now, if you wanna see that information live, you can click on this view live shipping board. And this brings you um, by default to your packer board. Again, you have a lot of filters here on top, so you can look at a specific warehouse, you can decide do you want to look at orders or items. So orders would be in this case 7,400 around and 107,000 items that need to ship. I guess there's some big orders there. So next you can set your time range and this is your working hours. So you can see below that we have this um, graph of you know how many orders were packed throughout the day and that starts at seven, ends at seven. So depending on how many hours you're working or what your shifts are, you can set that so that adjusts um, for the, the working hours that you have. If you're a 3PL, you can also filter this by customer, um, ship by date, again, any date, ship by the due date or orders that are late. So you can see how many orders that I shipped today that were late. Um, and then users as well, which we'll look at in a moment. As far as the information that you see, how many orders you have left, um, and it does estimate how many per packer based on how many packers you have. Um, and again, that graph showing you throughout the day, how many orders you packed at, at given times. And again, how many you have to pack per hour to meet the goal. So there's about two hours left. We're doing this around 5 p.m. So we have until around 7 p.m. And if we're going to ship 7,300 orders, we got a lot of work to do. So it right. gives you a good overview of how many orders you have left to pack and how many you need to pack per hour to, to make that goal. Uh, and then you have the breakdown of the individual packers. You see the packer, we give a, a little award here. So you have your, your gold medal, your silver, and your bronze medal, one, two, and three. Um, and that's just based on how many how many orders they packed throughout the day. So this first packer, you can see at 9 a.m. when they got in, they started packing three almost 350 orders at first hour. And you can see throughout the day how many orders they packed, and then the total, and an average per hour. So this person's packing about 187 right. orders per hour. And you can see, you know, again, for each one of your, your packers, all that information. Below that, again, a summary of how many orders were shipped today, um, how many were late, how many were due today, how many are remaining. So the same information you have on top. Again, broken down by late and due today as well. 
um, and how many orders you have in totes. So basically how many orders are currently being picked and locked would be how many are currently being worked on. So basically there's about 200 orders that are in the process of being shipped um, as we speak. Now, this is the packer information. You can also go to your users and switch to pickers. Um, you can select specific users here if you just want to see certain users. But I can hit apply mm -hmm. by pickers and you notice that the color changes a little bit, a little different shade of blue. And that tells us that we're on the picker board. So it's the same information, but it's for your pickers and not for your packers. So it's how many orders you're picking nice. per hour, how many orders they need to pick um, instead of pack. But again, it's the same information broken down by, by picker. Um, and then, you know, how many they did, they did per hour and the average um, that they picked per hour. So again, this board is your, your live board. If you want to export, um, you know, historical information, basically that information historically, you can go to exports, choose what you want to export, and then your date range, and you'll be able to export it. So, um, you know, again, this, this is something that a lot of people have been, had asked for. Um, we had some, you know, dashboard previously. But this gives you a lot more information. Um, you can be a lot more granular about what you want to see. And again, it is kind mm -hmm. of optimized for that big screen. So you can put that up and you know have people anywhere else see it, uh, see it easily. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Okay, thank you very much, Yosef. My pleasure. And if you'd like to check out other feature walkthroughs, click on the top right corner right now. And if you're ready to unlock your e-commerce fulfillment superpowers, visit Shapiro.com to schedule a call with us. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.